Alright guys, welcome back to Death From Above 40k. Today I'm just showing a bit of a uh, army showcase just to keep you up to date with some of the stuff that I've been doing paint wise, hobby wise, all that sort of stuff. Um, once again, apologies that I've been away for a bit. I do paint all my own models and uh, get into this stuff on my own so when it comes to you know rebasing, repainting, re it's, just, it's just the way it bloody goes. Deal with it mate. I've got to do it on my own so here's what we've got. I've been working on some evil suns and uh, as anyone watching the channel would know I usually play bad moons but I don't know what it was maybe I played too much blood angels something got a hankering for the uh, the uh, old red boys the evil suns so I wanted to do a bit of an overview on why I've done this I think ninth edition had a little bit to do with it um, the way the new gaming system had a bit to do with it it's just you know moving faster hitting faster more ball control all that sort of stuff so this is the beginning of my core of evil sons um, and yeah let's have a little bit of a look over it so first things first a lot of people are going to say where are all the vehicles well they're not here just yet they're definitely on the paint table behind but I'm not going to spin around because this is the shit show in here at the moment First things first, going back to traditional war boss. I just wanted to do a war boss, you know, claw. We've got our squig, rockets, all those sorts of things. Get them going, get them looking nice. Uh, we've got a bit of a mech boy. Looking nice. Custom field that I made myself. You've probably seen him. This guy used to be a bad moon. We've got Pain boy. Here he is. Choppy choppy snippy snippy. So at this point, they're the three sort of HQs I've gone with at the moment. Um, I don't have the new codex yet, so anticipation is a little bit of this. Troops wise, I decided uh, I'm going to go a little Grotz unit because anyone who plays 9th edition knows that you need a unit to sit at the back. And sitting at the back, you don't want to be spending anything too expensive unless it's putting out firepower. That's my that's my key go-to, but hey, you do you. Then we've got big mob of chopper boys. Took me time painting all these, rebasing them, putting them on 32 mils, getting that choppery goodness. I'll show you a few little bits and bobs. So some of these guys, I've gone to the effort, you know, whoop putting tower shoulder pads on, space marine shoulder pads. There's a guy in here, where is he? I'm gonna find him, here he is. You know, he's clearly necked himself some Necrons and stolen some Necron backpacks, bits like that. I've done that all throughout all this unit, you know, shoulder pads of different sorts of bits. Makes them look a bit more heavily armored as well. Because uh, a lot of the guys I know uh, looking at the new models and thinking, should I buy the new models, shouldn't I buy them? I say yes, buy them. We're hobbyists, get into it. But also, give your old models a bit of a jack up. You know, new paint job, new bloody shoulder pads, get into it. All right, going across here, we did a 20 man blob of uh, shooter boys. Because anticipating the new codex, didn't know whether Shooter Boys or Chopper Boys are going to be better, so 20, 20. We fuck it up, well, we'll go back to the drawing board. Uh, in this one, we went a bit more combi rockets on the knob. Same as the old school way of play. Rockets, which are now D3 rockets, which are nice. And then shooters. I don't mind the new Daka Daka rule. Closer you get, just blasting out shots, which is really nice for uh, Orc players to have that... Um, you know, we do want to get in chopping, but at the same time, the new edition wants to hold uh, objectives. So, you've, you know, you've got to be able to sit on them sometimes. This is a squad that I uh, put together myself and I'm really happy with, which is my um, Rocket Boys. They've, I've done all sorts of little, you know, I think that's a, what do you call him, off the custom, I can't actually remember his name, but yeah. Custom Mega Blaster with some rockets on the end of it. There it is. You know, made the knob out of an actual knob. And I've taken his uh, bits and bobs, made some rockets. All that sort of stuff. So if you have a look over them, they're looking crazy as they're going to be uh, quite effective on the battlefield. I've had one game with them, which on the channel is already there. Coming over here, 
We've got uh, 15 looters. A lot of people are going to say you run an Evil Suns while you run looters. An auto cannon is an auto cannon champ, but he strength seven, a you know AP one, flat two damage to most armies is uh, quite significant. So with these guys, if we can get a few shots off, well we'll get a blue. F well, I reckon we'll get more than a few bloody shots off. So you know, spent the time redoing these guys, getting them nice and pretty. Probably spent too much time on this army. It was something that was a little bit of a labour of love to get them uh, looking nice and pretty. And then next after that, we've got the first of, which I based up really nicely, Def Copter with some rockets. And uh, there's more on the paint table at the moment because these things I think are going to be quite key to um, winning battles moving forward. Like it's it's all about fast moving, fast pace firepower all that sort of stuff so this one here he just the model that's all that drove this there's nothing else to it I don't care how well it is on the battlefield or anything like that it just looks fucking cool look at that thing blades coming out everywhere if you're a space marine you see one of these running at you well unless you've got yourself a thunder hammer or something I suggest you get the fuck out of its way so I just wanted to give a little bit of an update because, um, as I said, I've been a bit absent and I apologise about that, but these are some of the things I've been doing is just repainting a lot of this stuff, upping the uh, quality of models and getting it ready for a new edition of 40k, which takes a long time when you're working on your own. But um, I want to say a big thank to everyone that uh, supports the channel and follows along and that you guys are bloody fantastic sometimes in these uh strange rona times you just get me up out of bed so this is a bit of a short one but uh war boss get banger is uh going to be coming to use real bloody soon a bit more often this is only about 1250 points worth of models but uh we're going to update it get a bit more happening and um get some more battle reports going We've got some other armies that are favourites on the channel coming up as well. And hope to see you guys soon. Stay tuned. More is coming. Whoa!